Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel, and today I'm going to be talking about some more of my favorite books. So, I'm just going to start with something that I read growing up. My dad used to read this to me, and it just had a fond place in my heart. These are the, if you guys have never heard of Nancy Drew, where have you been? Nancy Drew is by Carolyn Keene. Now, this is just a pin name. Her real name is Mildred Benson, but Mildred or Carolyn Keene did not write every single Nancy Drew book, but the majority of them. So there are mysteries, they're fun, and they're just super easy to read. Like you can read this book in a day. Um, it's a very easy read. And another thing that's really cool about these, I'm going to show here. Um, is that they have drawings. They have drawings. Like, isn't that the coolest thing? And you can color these in if you want, but I just leave them plain because they're cool. But I have colored some of them in. But they're so cool! And, like, the scene is for the storyline, you know? Um, so these are just a classic if you want easy mystery, if you want something fun, relaxing classic definitely this now this is older writing some of the words are different today which is kind of sad these go way back to the 1930s so yeah the writing can sometimes be a little old-fashioned but these are great mysteries I would definitely re recommend Nancy Drew by Carolyn Keene so the next author I'm going to talk about is Greg Mitchell. I think that's how you pronounce his last name. And I the I, I've only read three books of his, which is the trilogy. This trilogy. And when I I actually bought this one first. Um, and I just got it because it looked interesting and it's like enemies of the cross and I saw after I bought it I got this at like a discount store and I realized at the top that it said book two of the coming evil trilogy and I'm like oh man I don't really want to like read this if this is book number two you know so I read like the first chapter or the prologue of this and I'm like yeah this seems interesting so I bought book one and I read it I liked it and then I got book number three to finish off the trilogy so the first book is called the strange man the second book is called the enemies of the cross and the third and final is called dark hour he writes real good and these deal with like of course the trilogy is called the coming evil trilogy so if you guys don't know i'm a christian and these deal with the kind of the battle between good and evil it's really really interesting i love how they build this and it really shows that people are not perfect and that we really need to strive to be closer to christ because Demons are real people, and this will give you chills, okay? So, that is a great book, a great trilogy if you want, like, the battle between good and evil, demons, angels, those kind of things. So, the last author I'm going to be talking about is one I just recently found, and this is Joanna Davidson. I'm really bad at pronouncing names. Politano. I probably just butchered that name, but um, I'm just going to show you the name. I have no idea how you pronounce that last name. Um, but this is called Lady Jane Disappears. Now, her writing, for some reason, reminds me a lot of Jamie Jo Wright, and that's kind of why I like it. Now, this is very period piece but this this was good in character she she has some problems that she needs to work through and she's trying to figure out the mystery of her family and it's just very interesting 
but at points in this book, I was very frustrated. I felt like it was has to end good, you know, because it's a book. It has to end good, right? Not all books end good, but I had a feeling it was going to end good, but like a few times throughout this, I'm like, it better not end like this. And it was just uh, like two, like two or three chapters until the end. And I'm like, can they turn this around in time? It was literally two chapters left. And I'm like, if it ends like this, this is going to be a stupid book. Guys, I'm just saying, right now, if I'm talking about this, I must have liked it. And I did. I really liked this. And let me just tell you, it changes very fast, very quickly. So don't get upset if you get stressed out. This is a very good book and a very good author. If you guys like period pieces or like olden time books, this is a definitely a book I would definitely recommend. So that's all the books I'm going to be talking about today. And thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and comment down below more videos you want to see in the future. And I will see you next time. <laughs>